Top of the morning, guys. Welcome to Cassie Tarot. We're going to start out with a prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in our day of battle. Protect us against the DC and wickedness of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, banish into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And our guardian angel, O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Akhmadama Jama. Happy Saturday. Here we go, guys. Let's get started with our first card. Father, in the name of Jesus, show us the first card in love. Amen. Akhmadama Jama. Shucks. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles, reciprocity, and a gift. So that's a good energy, right? Okay, God, give us another card. Father, in the name of Jesus, show us the energy surrounding us in love. Yes, guys, go outside even if it's raining, right? We have the three of wands. Someone's waiting for the ships to come in. So there is an energy coming in of reciprocity. And this is coming in. Oh, shit, this person is rushing in. And they want to tell you something. They're not even thinking about waiting. Oh, the Eight of Cups, what they want to tell you is they've checked out emotionally and their heart is coming to you. The King of Cups. And they're loving you, mind, body, heart, and soul unconditionally. Yes. Amen. The High Priestess, right? This is, she knows all and sees all, but she's mute. So there's probably some secrets coming out about this guy coming towards you, right? And it's the King of Swords. This is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. This is also your official person. It could be a lawyer, a CPA, a judge, or some official paperwork coming in, which with this Four of Wands, that's the portal. This is going to go in your favor. This is a serious commitment and marriage. So we have this official person coming in to offer marriage. Amen. That's awesome. So I'm going to say, oh, shit, the Empress. That's who this official person is, someone who looks at you like you are so very beautiful, and they want to grow to marriage, right? And they are coming in. This is the slowest um, night, but it's ground. he's grounded, dependable, and remember, he's this official person, so he's got all his eggs in a row, all his ducks in a row. He's coming forward. You're his... He loves you unconditionally, mind, body, heart, and soul. It's a lot of love, but you're his wish. Wish is coming true. And the wheel of fortune, the end of delays, karmic energy is coming into play. What you put out is coming back to you. This is the eye of heaven looking down, granting you your wishes. This marriage, this official person is coming in to take charge, right? He sees you as the epitome of every, all four queens. You are beautiful. You are this family woman. You go out and you make your uh, manifestations come into fruition because you are the empress, right? Amen. I want to see who this king of cups is. Who's the king of cups, Father, in the name of Jesus? Death and rebirth. This is a transformative energy. This person coming in, this king of swords with this empress energy, wants to transform and start over again, right? Amen. Who is death and rebirth? Who is death and rebirth? We have the king of wands. This action king goes out and seizes your heart, captures your love, and lets you know it, right? He treats you well. The sun, the happiest card in the whole deck. This is 
manifestations complete and your hard work is paying off guys the hermit you went into a cave and got this higher knowledge about this love coming in so let's get a couple of cards from your love oracle cards amen oh shit and on the Knight of Swords, let go of control issues because this manifestation coming into fruition is fated from God. Allow the situation to unfold naturally, right? Amen. And then we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. That's this Knight of Swords, this truth coming in, right? This man wants to tell you. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other, right? And then we have getting to know each other. Amen. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens and love grows. Reconciliation. This is someone coming back from your past. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And we have separation. This separation is over. Time apart from your, um, this is a, a past energy that you transmuted, you moved on. With this Empress, you've grown, right? Your Akashic records have been rewritten. True love is coming in. Amen. This is the romance of a lifetime. Then we have religious factors. Your relationship is being affected by your religious upbringing as well it should be, right? And... Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture and love yourself first. That's so that the law of attraction kicks in. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Au revoir. God bless.